Hey guys, what's going on? Signs here. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day today. Anyways, guys, I got a couple great tips here, including how to survive an IMS every single time. And this is not really a widespread glitch, kind of like the Bouncing Betty glitch, but I will show both of these and I will also show the benefits of the trophy system. This is going to be just a overall tips video that's going to help you survive. That's what it's geared to. So, you saw that the split screen guy just put down the IMS, so I'm going to quickly set down a trophy system. And if you have sleight of hand, you can easily do that in time so that it saves your life. But, the even better way, you lie down right in the middle of the IMS, and there's no possible way that it can get to it. It forms a little protective barrier above you. Now, moving on to the next glitch here. Well, this isn't a glitch, actually. This is just another benefit of the trophy system. Reapers, Predator missiles, AC-130s, the whole nine yards. Obviously not bullets from an attack helicopter. That wouldn't work. But, as you see, this guy is completely untouched. So that is a great tip. Use that when, if you want to survive Predator missiles. So coming over here, we have the tip to survive a Bouncing Betty. And basically, if you go prone right underneath it, there is no way that it can get to you. Again, some kind of weird protective barrier glitch helps you from that. Now, the other thing, if you do not have time to go completely prone, uh, this will work every once in a while. As you'll see there, it did kill me the first time I tried it. But if you're far enough away and you're just on one knee, you can survive it as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that tip, please be sure to hit that subscribe button at the top. I will be bringing the occasional tip video like this every once in a while, probably about once or twice a month. And if you like my style of commentary, I have another pretty hilarious video in the middle of the screen. It is a spawn under a care package, and basically I just make light of the situation, even though I broke about six controllers after it was over.